Can you get what you need from a $50 wireless mic on Amazon? The folks at the Fine Fine Company are betting that you can. Today we're going to shoot out the K025 wireless mic against a range of other popular wireless microphones and see if it holds up. Thanks for joining me at Smith Music. My name is Paul Smith and I bring you in the studio and backstage as well as do gear reviews and show musicians how to build music careers. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. As a special bonus at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how you can get the most out of any microphone that has a quarter inch output. This video is sponsored by the Fine Fine Company and they did send me this mic for free. It retails for $30 USD or about $45 Canadian on Amazon. A lot of people don't trust reviews that are sponsored, so instead of me saying anything about the mic, I'm going to let you hear it for yourself and make up your own mind. At the end, I'll give you my impressions. The Fine Fine Company said the following in their initial email to me. As we know, not everyone will invest in an expensive microphone, especially if you found an affordable one, which could also do the job. This is the basis that we're going to test this microphone on. Can it work instead of a more expensive mic? The K025 is a wireless mic with a wireless receiver. It's quite well thought out, and mine came with an anti-roll cage so it won't roll off a flat surface when you set it down. The grill is also shaped in a way that makes it not roll when it's put down. It has 20 wireless channels in case there's other wireless equipment in proximity, helping you get a signal that doesn't have interference or dropouts. So how does it sound? We're going to torture test this microphone against an AKG HT40 and a Line 6 wireless handheld microphone and the industry standard Shure SM58. We're going to hear the same vocals recorded into each microphone. They're all recorded at the same time with no compression, EQ, or effects. In practice, a person using a wireless mic wouldn't be using a pop screen and would be closer to the microphone. Doing the test in this way gave us a way to hear the exact same performance from each microphone, and it's a little bit more fair. I ain't got no money, I damn sure's got it made, and I ain't asking nobody for nothing, if I can't get it on my own. I ain't got no money, I damn sure's got it made. I ain't asking nobody for nothing If I can't get it on my own I ain't got no money I damn sure's got it made And I ain't asking nobody for nothing If I can't get it on my own I ain't got no money, I damn sure's got it made, and I ain't asking nobody for nothing, if I can't get it on my own. 50% of what people are probably going to use wireless mics for, at least, is for speaking for an MC at an event um, or speeches uh, if you're at a corporate event and um, uh, somebody that's an employee or a CEO needs to come up and uh, deliver a speech. This is the KO25 where you're speaking into the microphone at the proper distance. And when you're emceeing an event, you... Here's the Line 6 wireless microphone, and I'm speaking about an inch or two uh, away from the capsule. So here I am just speaking normally into the Shure 58 at a um, good speaking uh, distance from the microphone. Now for the special bonus I promised. Here's how you can improve the quality of any microphone that uses a quarter inch jack. We use something called a DI. In short, the electronics of a mixer and a microphone interact with each other. The mixer is built to expect to see a certain type of signal from the electronics. In a very general way, there are different amounts of electrical resistance that a mixer will be built for when you plug in a mic. The XLR part of the mixer is expecting to see a low signal that you can boost with the gain knob, and this is what most mics use. The quarter inch jack of the mixer is built for line level. The quarter inch jack from the K025 appears to be delivering a high Z signal which is more typical of an electric guitar instead of line signal. Here's the first trick. To convert the audio signal into a signal more suited to a mixer, you can plug the receiver into a DI. 
This lets you plug the microphone into the XLR input of the mixer and gives the mixer the type of signal it was designed for. This will improve the high frequency response, it will even out a little bit of the proximity effect. Proximity effect is what happens when, as you get closer to the mic, you get more low end. It will all around enhance the tone of the mic. The next thing you can do is put a foam filter on the mic which will stop wind blasts from hitting the coil of the mic. At the time of this shooting, I didn't have a foam filter for the mic, so I used a studio pop filter which will do a very similar thing to what a foam ball on the end of the mic will do. Here's the K025 with and without the DI and pop filter. This is the KO25 where you're speaking into the microphone at the proper distance. With a pop filter that I foam uh, ball for the end of the microphone should do a very similar thing. This is the KO25 where you're speaking into the microphone at the proper distance. With a pop filter that I foam uh, ball for the end of the microphone should do a very similar thing. Here's the Line 6 wireless microphone and I'm speaking about an inch or two uh, away from the capsule. So here I am just speaking normally into the Shure 58 at a um, good speaking uh, distance from the microphone. The K025 is a bargain at $30. It's simple to use and built tough enough that it can handle the rigors of events. The box it comes in makes a great case for it. This mic is very usable for weddings, speaking engagements, DJs, karaoke, and hard use situations. This would be a great first wireless mic for anybody. Will it replace my more expensive mics? No, but I will be using it in places that I feel my other mics can be damaged, like at small outdoor events and events where intoxicated guests want to sing along with the band. In the YouTube description, you can find links to any equipment or software used in this video. Thanks for joining me in the studio and backstage.